Queen Joy of Deutschland. I'm probably going to change the name of the kingdom now that we're not doing this in a live stream because, I mean, it was fun naming it Deutschland and everything like that, but if it's this is going to be a series, which I also hadn't planned on really doing, we need to make it a little bit, a little bit better. Um, this will be the kingdom of Long Summer. Why? Because that is essentially Queen Joy. She is... What would you call those people? You call them Long Summoners? No, you wouldn't. We wouldn't call it that. It's the Kingdom of Long Summer. As I think that is what this title is. Girion's Landing. High Lordship of Girion's Landing. The Hills of Nolos. Did I give that away? Lordship of the Golden... Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I did. The Kingdom of the Lands of the Long Summer. Well, that's what it would have been. But we've changed it now. It is now the... Kingdom of Long Summer. Why do I have some troops raised? Oh, those are my Unsullied. Okay. Interesting. Uh, we can actually slow this down a little bit. Oh, King Robin has taken his last breath. He's been died in an accident. An accident. So, Tassain is betrothed to Prince Cade of Long Summer. And he's an alright character. Who is his fucking... Uh, oh, okay. His guardian's actually alright. Who are we guardians of? No one! No one, because I believe we were trying to get our children to be trained by, what, martial people? Is that what, what... No, I think that was just Cade's thing. All right, so your wife is going to be considerably older than you, but she's such a good match, we can't really pass on that. Um, I believe we also have... Oh, is it, Do we have unrestricted marriages? I think we do. Um, is there anyone else that we could marry him to? I care not for this foreign king. I do not actually care. Um, no, that's the only daughter they have. Oh, well, there was... There was, um, Malera Dundarian. She's actually not that good. Alright. So, factions, liege loyalists, that great, that's great. We have been seducing the people. We have been seducing the people. We might have to seduce this guy, too. Get him on our side. And it seems as, as, a, as, a, as a whammon, we don't really have any kind of, like, limit on how many lovers we can have. Besides that, we are the Chimera. We wield Chimera. We got a lot of other, other shit, too. Of Lady Joy, I accidentally crafted a uh, crafted blank. Crafted blank. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell this sword, or maybe I should just give this out to people. No, I should craft Lannister armor for all of our children. Although we are not really the most hardcore supporters of House Lannister, though. Not really, as I believe. No, no, Tywin was the one. Oh, it is now Lord Paramount Daemon the Second. The son of Tyrion and Marcella. Okay, cool. Um, Jocasta, inbred and a dwarf. Yeah, you guys warned me that, that was they were going to be really inbred, and you were absolutely right. Absolutely right. All right, I suppose it's time to come clean about the affair. Let's not. Perhaps Viserys doesn't know. He's kind of an idiot. But we will seduce that guy. Um, now what I'm gonna do, I've given Cade a lot of stuff. He's got Cade's Bane and his own armor, as well as the badge for the king for some reason. Uh, Crazy Horse, I have to give you... <laughs> uh, Lannister armor as well. Now, does he, does he get that instantly? No. Okay. And then I want to give Marlin... I want to give Marlin... The, I kind of want the Ruby Scepter. I want the Crown of Pearls, I want the Ruby Scepter, you can have the Golden Sword. And then we can give Reginald, whoever Reginald, whoever wants to be Reginald, he's open to take. You have Of Lady Joy. Alright. That's what we'll do. Which means we will need to, we also need to keep working on cleaning out, ask quarters to leave. We can't for some reason. Alright, Crazy Horse, we've given you uh, Ama, we're pregnant again. Obviously, because I just looked at the fucking, um, a dirty secret! Oh, that's fine. We have found Elena Kraykall. I was playing as the Kraykalls last night, and my god, they have the best bloodline. Tall, strong hunters. They, the the ch children almost always end up tall and strong. So, and tall and strong is such an amazing combination for personal skill. Problem is, is that the Kraykalls are Westerlanders, and they're of the Faith of the Seven, so they almost never fight. They almost never get into any wars, so you never really get to use that, like, that, that strength and tall bloodline. And I'm not really sure if there are other, are other, are any other bloodlines out there that mix both being strong and tall, like House Mormont doesn't. Um, House Strong are just strong. House Durandin are just strong. Now, maybe the Umbers are different. 
Maybe the Oombas. Let's see. Ah, they tend to be tall, strong, and brave. So we could... I would like to see a playthrough of either House Craycall as pirates or something. Or um, House Oomba. Because they all end up strong. And What is the sigil supposed to be? Amongst the North's most powerful houses, the proximity to the wall makes them a target for wildling raids. True, but what the hell is that sigil? Anyways, I would like to see that. I tried playing as a, as a custom Krakow character who was strong and tall as a pirate. And what did the game do? It killed my character. He died of severe stress at like age 19 or something stupid. But she's here banging somebody. Dennis the Rhymer? Oh, that's fine. L love and let love, I say. Um, now, what I need to do... Okay, you have everything you need. Crazy Horse has just the armor. Doesn't have a sword yet. Is there anything we can give you? Not really. Like, we can't even give you... We can't even... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. We can't even give him a sword. Like, Chimera. We can't even give that to him. Forge more armor. As we can afford it. So this is Lancaster Armor Chimera, 55. Yeah, pregnant. Oh, yeah, that would do it. The colony of the Port of Science has had a long, troubled relationship with the Asosi Valerian natives. They claim the rightful lands are being unjustly seized. The taxes levied upon them unfair. They now rise in rebellion, determined to destroy the fragile colony. Well, that's not good. We can't let that happen. Apparently, they think um, Lord Humphrey of House Beesbury are, um, is being unfair. I might march the Unsullied off, because surely the Unsullied can handle this, right? This little rebellion, port of size, native revolt. We, we can't let them, we cannot let them fall. Out to this place. Okay, so I'm sure they're carrying a fierce little soldier, probably. Um, the remnant of rests, neither should I. So we are trying to turn this Joy's Hill into the new capital, but it's only a colony. We have to keep that in mind. Valyrian Mines. All right, relief force. We are sending a relief force. Um, all right, and we broke up with somebody. We are letting... We are going to have the Unsullied deal with these. And they got destroyed by the natives. One of... <laughs> I kind of I kind of foresaw that happening. I kind of foresaw that. Uh, go ahead and sell the slaves. See what they'll buy for them. If they'll even buy them. You might not. There we go. All right. We sent the Unsullied, they got roundly destroyed. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna raise all my level, all my le all my vassals' levies is what I'm gonna do. Dana Lannister. I could seduce her husband. Ah, ah, ah. Could, but I think we, we Lannister women of, of this place need to stay together. And then Daenerys has married Sawell Moore. Samwell Moore, all right. So I might actually stop seducing here. Because it seems like we've got more than enough chillins. More than enough children. Um, so I think we want to do rulership now. We'll do rulership because she wants to be a great queen. Is there anything else we can do? I can enable cheats. I can reforge a blade. I'm not going to do that. So then Marlin, I believe we've only given you a golden sword. We need to grant you armor. This will not further increase their opinion of you. I don't really care. All right, all you dudes, you got to march on them right now. Everyone, march on the natives. Uh, so Marlin will be, grant be getting a new suit of armor. Only six. Could be because most of our holdings are actually um, colonies. It's probably what it is. Ask quarters to leave. Find luck somewhere else, please. Bye. Build more armor. All right. And war has been joined. Cade, it is time. And I'm sure you want to go martial. And it seems you're going to be very, very good at it. And we have a new son, Martin, who has a lisp. Not the worst. It's not the worst trait that you could have. We have won the battle of the Port of Size against this clown. Go ahead and offer peace. And we'll probably either kill him broken in the dungeon. No, he doesn't have broken spirit. Banish him to the Night's Watch. We could also bang him. Sell him into slavery. As that is something we can do now. Spend highly on your education. Superb. 
All right, then everyone who can be... Yeah, there we go. No more levies. So we have 23,000 men, almost 24. Uh, Martin, who is your educator? Roland the Bastard of Night Song. Interesting. It seems Marine still wants to be hostile to us. Does your claim on Borash? Could claim it. Only have 3,000 men. I think I have the Mega War series, uh, uh series game rules set off. Um, uh, Elos is struggling to feed his people. We will send them money in aid. Trying to swear our sister. I, you know what? I think Marine should hand over Borash. As these people, this is an advanced colony. It shall be our advanced colony. Does your claim on Borash? All right. So we'll do the same thing. Raise all armies. Go here. You guys marshal here at Mataris. You guys all marshal up here as well. I think that's it. That's fine. This will be more than enough. And in fact, you guys, you dudes, ooh, taking a siege port. Sieging a port, I see. Just getting my men onto these ships so that we can consolidate our forces and take Borash. Has made his primary title. Interesting. Go ahead and land the troops here. Um, now I need a good commander. Khalees. Ooh. Okay. She might make go for a good commander. Alos is under siege. My forces led by Master Yuznak Zopal. Okay. So we got Khalees, we got Lyle, we got Roland. Um, get the ships out here. Um, we actually don't have enough ships. Here, go ahead and march into Borash. You guys all march into the sea, and we'll, we'll, we will we will aid Elos. Cannot let House Florent of Elos fall. Let's see, he was unfortunately killed in Attorney Joust. That is unfortunate. I'm sorry for your lose, my sir. I am sorry. Alright, how long is this going to take? Some time, it seems. But it is still just a colony, so, I mean, just the fact that it's being sieged could be bad for us. Is my council and everything set? Nope. Ooh. The Golden Way gets advanced colony. Nice. Oversee the realm. Master at arms. Lyle, I'm actually gonna have you stop. Uh, are you a good fighter? Of course you're not. I will have you train the children all the same. All the same. Um, unfortunately, that means we lose one of our commanders. Khalees, you shall take the front. And our rain waters shall aid you. Now this force of 6,000, led by Humphrey, Arthur, and someone else who's not important. Has this been occupied already? Mm, no. But we will. Okay. Interesting. Alright, so we've got them. We've got them where we want them. And I don't think we're going to conquer Slaver's Bay. Ooh. Okay, fans colony. No, we're not going to conquer. I want Bright Roar. Give me Bright Roar. We will fulfill our father's destiny. We will find Bright Roar. Or dragons, if that's what has to happen. Wants us to kill him. Nah. Nah, we ain't doing that. Yeah, it's a city. Go ahead and take it. There we go. Cool. And they've landed almost all their troops. Because they only have like 3,000. Or at least they only should have 3,000. I'm surprised their allies aren't trying to aid them. Like, there's not a coalition being formed. Because the, the slaver cities don't really care. So it's been looted. I don't think that means we can take it. Probably not. But I want Borash, and I want the slave cities to be put in their in their place. Yeah, it's a trade post being manned by three dudes. Not a problem. And those 2,000 guys down there don't really concern me. The Bastard of Illyria. Melissa Craycall. Drop of the Blood of the Dragon. Interesting. So we, I feel like we wanted to... Oh, she is a lunatic, though. I wonder if Dana would appreciate learning more about statesmanship. Sure, she has a daughter, Rosamund Lannister. <laughs> Who has the blood 
<laughs> of the the of the veil vale and the Lannisters. Wow, so matrilineal marriages, they get both bloodlines. So in theory, in theory, um Queen Joy could marry her daughters off matrilinearly with other houses, the Umbers or Kraycalls, and have children that are both Lannisters, but also Kraycalls and Umbers, giving them, uh... Giving them crazy bloodlines. And since we're Valyrian worshippers, we could start doing the incest marriages matrilinearly, though. So then the children, I think, would have the bloodline of the of the the females because the females under matrilineal marriages seem to get both bloodlines whereas male mar marriages they pass on only one and so if we played our cards right which is not going to be possible because we've had only sons we must keep the Lannister name but I don't mind if it gets changed yeah blood of the chimera Valyrian God's opinions, yeah. Valyrian opinion plus 10. We probably want people to become Valyrians. I know during the live stream people were like, no, stay true to your faith. We can't. Queen Joy has realized that she was meant to become the leader of all the Valyrians. So she is currently proselytizing in Geryon's Landing. Oh, because that's that that was Illyria. Geryon's Landing, City of Illyria, Sept of Illyria. Castle's still called Illyria, though. That's fine. Uh, Berlin had a thriving harbor. We must do whatever we can. So if we start having daughters, that'd be nice. Dana answered to my letter to make she has much to learn. Interesting. But Dana is creating an interesting branch of the Lannisters as they're also pot Aaron. And we can see that that gives her a lot of martial, like just right out the gate. Blood of the Hammer of the Hills, Falcon Knight, Talon, Gerald the Great. So we're talking great generals already. And she's probably gonna have an, a higher chance of being honorable and brave. Much higher chance, actually. I just scrolled down... I just scrolled something here by accident. So will she get a claim on the mountain and veil? I don't know, but also ambitious. Honorable, brave, ambitious. Too good. Strong seed. Now, here's the question. Do they have strong seed as well? They may not. No, they have strong seed as well. And that's how she wound up with this kind of, like, faded blonde. So it's a 50-50 chance. All right, cool. Very nice. New was captured. Master... Yeah, we just captured a fuckload of people. Take Marine. He's complaining about his cell. Very well, we shall be merciful. Ha, ha, ha. Take his whole family. Um, now what I want to do... Is I want to ransom. Ransom. We got like seven, eight hundred gold right there. We got one more, one more dude. Recruit Itok, enslave prisoner. Would that be considered tyrannical? I don't think it would. Now sell him. Done. Yeah, not tyrannical. Awesome. <laughs> All right, continue the fight. Um, how twenty thousand at the castle, of the Great Pyramid. Where are you reigning now, sir? Reigning in Marine Marine. Where is your son? At the court. So we have... Uh, I'm, I'm really digging the bloodlines right now. Wholeheartedly. Boom. Alright. Offer him peace. Uh, we gain the high city of Borash. Now, this is going to be kind of an... It, no. No. Yes. Can I have an issue? No. Um, City of Borash needs to have a new vassal there, but now we have Borash, which is all, all in all not really that important of a place. But it's all good. Well, it was all good. Um, you know, raise the let, raise the, the rest of my ships. You guys stay. Because apparently we're still hostile with them. Hostile towards Queen Duda being raided. Did we raid them? Maybe. Maybe we did. All right, I need to give this to someone. I need to give Borash to somebody. Um, and they don't have a garrison at all. <laughs> Dana, Harold, I hereby grant you the lordship of Borash. Cool. Very nice. Hopefully that's helpful to you guys. 
Um, yeah, but so are we still hostile? We are still hostile. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to be. But we did raid them a few times in the past, and I'm not sure if the AI really knows what to do about it. It's probably just going to be like, you're no hostile for the rest of days. Um, what is this? Leal and Evil Servant? Fine. Give the man some gold. And then disband all of these. Cool. All right, I wonder how Queen Joy is going to look when she hits 30. We're going to find out. She doesn't look that bad. Being stressed is not really, not really, not really nice. Uh, let's go ahead and build a garden. Because I think that might, that might help with her stress a little bit. We should probably build one in the capital down here as well. Joy's Hill. The Golden Way, the Hills of Nolos, Berlin, because why not? Joy's Hill, Palace of Joy, Temple of Valyria, City of Valyria, that's fine. That's all good. Great news from the Golden Way, the people, oh, okay. They get a famine, that's not nice. That's not cool. Small shipyard, private farms would be nice. Keep building, just keep building. She is the builder. I want dragon eggs. I want, because I think all the dragons are dead, actually. And I think they're dead because... Danny didn't resurrect any because she didn't get to go on her little quest. Roads around the Golden Way have been, yeah. Just keep, just keep funneling stuff towards them. Yeah, we're gonna fun, yeah, we're funding a lot. And the reason we're funding a lot is because during the live stream we found that there is a bug when you're raiding colonies. If you raid a colony here in Valyria and you cause it to collapse, the game bugs out and gives you 9999 gold. And that's how we wound up with 18k and afforded all of this. So from a roleplay perspective, I imagine Queen Joy found like two lost fortunes and together they gave her enough gold to essentially rebuild most of Valyria. Tristan Moore. Um, okay, I'll find him somebody nice. Not really a, a big fan of House Moore. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop everything. Stop everything. Um, over here. Shara Moore is a fucking pirate? What? Marry a ruler. Would she join our court? No, but she would be willing to marry someone. Shit, maybe we should have had... Is there any rulers here who are unmarried? I, I can easily look this up in my as my vassals. Married? No. Apparently, these guys still my realm. How about rank? Quentin! He's two. Um, complications related to gout. Melinda. All right, so Lord Quentin is one of her vassals. Blood of the Falcon Knight. Bl oh, okay, that's cool. Then we have Pilo. And Vosbanios, he rules Ublesia. And then there's Waldron, who rules a temple. All right. I just, I got really excited because I saw there is a wham in here, Shara. Oh, there's also Elena. Okay, so why this matters. Why this matters. If we could get them to our lands. And these are the ones I should have been trying to get landed here in the first place, but I didn't think about it because I didn't know how good the bloodline for Kraykal is. Get them here, married matrilinearly, and then when they start having kids, they'll have the blood of the Kraykals, and then we can marry them into our family so we can get big, strong um, Lannister dragons. Madness. The question is, how do we do that? No, false religion. Can we do this? She's in our lands already. So she can. Um, matrilinearly, there's no one who's landed, but we could have her marry matrilinearly, so their children would be of Kraykal. In addition to normal bloodline inheritance, if two characters are in matrilineal marriage, their children will inherit patrilineal bloodlines from their mother and matrilineal bloodlines from their father. If a child has no known father and their mother has a patrilineal bloodline, the child will inherit it. Through the male line, this means that only male characters can pass the bloodline on to their offspring. Uh, for their mother, uh, patrilineal bloodlines from their mother. Okay, so patrilineal 
goes through the sun unless it's it's a marriage from the okay interesting so they'll start having hopefully cray call children problem is, is I feel like she's not gonna come to our realm um Out of curiosity, if we do this, will she come to us or will he go to her? It's hard to tell, really. The rest of these guys want to join us because of false religions and other bullshit. Let's find out. We're just we're playing a little bit of, uh, of you know, the genetics game. Well, of what is present of a genetics game in CK2. It's supposed to be clean. No, 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 no. He need not know about the affair. Um, the issue, though, is, 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 is that the children aren't going to get this bloodline. They're actually going to um, have Viserys' bloodline, even though technically they shouldn't. They shouldn't be able to. Eleanor Craycall. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. So the downside with marrying matrilinearly is that the kids are going to have... Yeah, they're going to be able to... Oh, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Dad was born to Sir Reginald Allgood and Ayala v and no, Adela Vickery. All right, so she got the red hair. Right, so I didn't really consider, I didn't really consider that. Um, no, 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 this will make sense. If we can have daughters though and have them, no. Yes, no. Now I'm really confused. Now I'm really confused. It will matrilinearly will give them House Lannister Sigil, but will give them both bloodlines. So daughters, yes, daughters are the future. You said tonight's watch. That's fine. You go do that, sir. You go do that. So for example, Cade's children. Cade's children, she wants to become a knight. Interesting. Will not get this stuff here. The light of the West, indeed. I still prefer Sea Star. Um, he's questioning the pregnancy. I sure him of my faithfulness. He is an idiot. He doesn't know any better. Suspected adultery, fired from the council, refused to designate me as regent. <laughs> Boy, you're lucky you have lands. You're lucky you even have lands, sir. Uh. All right, eight. Eight gold now. So, curiosity. Oh, we're still building the private farms? Yeah, Valyrian Mines. Owns a large slave camp. Ah, we need more slaves. <laughs> See, trade value 10, tax income 6. Oh, God. Wow. All right, now we got pains in our chest. Is this where the game prunes us? Maybe. Possibly. The bloody flux, ah, I'm sure. Alright, give the stewards the money. Um, kept you up for kept you up late for day stargazing with him to reconnect with the moon. Reconnect with the moon, my ass. Alright, so we've made mines everywhere. Good. Alright, and we broke up with Torin for some odd reason. So if we got more slaves, we only need like Oh, there are no slave camps here. We need a slave camp in Illyria, which is our capital. We have level three right now. So I think what I'll do is I could afford to buy more. No, I can't. Well, they don't have any. I keep up the important business. What are you talking about? Oh, God, we're giving birth. That's right. <laughs> Shit. Don't know why our sister's hating us so much. Well, this is betrothed can marry finally to Sane and Cade can get married. We're giving birth to another child. Excellent. Which means we need to have uh, the bride's already received her inheritance. I, I call bullshit on that. But I want to have a wedding for them. Why can't I do this? Oh, it's because I'm in hiding. All right. Well, when this birth is over, there we go. And, wow. So Prince Martin, just no, nothing but sons. Nothing but sons. She is a son-making machine. 
So we've got one, two, three people. Uh, three people available if people want to have um, characters named after them. Um, I would like to host a wedding for Cade. And all 20 of our vassals will be there. Become celibate. Nah, we ain't gonna do that. We're gonna keep going. I opened the stable door a bit quick and accidentally stumbled in on Cade getting his first kiss. I, I, I suddenly realized Cade is becoming a man. Lecture him about virtue and sins. Chase deceitful, zealous, paranoid. This is all pretty bad. C gains seven. He gets. Okay. Come on, Chase. There we go. So he will not cheat now. And he gets monthly piety. Nice. My bodyguard, Khalees, wants to get married. I will find you somebody. Become master at arms. I will find you someone. Daffin. Drop of the dr Oh, there we go. We will have a, a proper royal wedding. And this will solidify the realm. We have already pretty, pretty, pretty uh, solidified. All right, magnificent queen Joy. And she's already 22. Jesus. She better give us many strong children. Uh, is breaking the rules of the games. I'll have to put a stop to that. Please become honorable. Damn it. That would have been such a good trait. What the fuck is this? Oh. Just a Throcky scum. Dothraki scum. Lena Ambrose wants to get married. Okay. Never resting. Okay. I will find her somebody nice. And I will marry her matrilinearly. Um, who is young and able? This guy. So the house Ambrose will not fall into obscurity. Welcome to the wedding! Now the same Baratheon and Cade Lannister stand before the gods. Excellent. And now for the feast. The more hypocrite. Okay, so he's some drunk. Some drunken son of a bitch. Ooh. The strong boy. He's taken many second wives. Good for him. So if we were to... No, we need to have daughters. Their daughters are actually a problem. Because if... Yeah, their daughters are a problem. We need to have daughters. That's the issue. That would marry their sons. But I'm glad to see House Craig Hall is becoming prolific. Let's see. You want to buy this dude? 15. Feast is winding down and only the betting remains. Congratulations, Cade and Lysane. Bringing together the kingdoms of Long Summer and the Iron Throne. Surely we can have an alliance now. No, he does not like us. The son of a bitch does not like the, like us. And I don't believe there's anyone of us that he can actually marry. Nah, he can marry Lysa Tully. I agree, fun, so did everyone else. Superb. Superb. The kingdom of the long summer. Um, anything else? No, not really. All right, I'm going to end this episode here because I'm all out of time. But, uh, well, Queen Joy continues her glorious rule. Cade, though, is going to take over. Cade is going to take over. Skilled fighter. Cade's Bane, Lannister armor. Where is his Lannister? Oh, you can't wear it yet. You can't wear it yet. You can't wear his Lannister armor, but he will one day. My goal is to have... I would love it if Prince Cade just had nothing but daughters. And then we can marry them matrilinearly to the Craig Hall boys. And then our children would be Lannisters, but they would have the bloodline of the Lannisters, the, the Targaryen... No, would they have the Targaryens? I don't know if they would. I don't know if they would. Targaryen bloodline is not inherited through bastards, so that doesn't matter. No, we would have children that would have the Lannister Targaryen Chimera <laughs> and Craig Hall bloodlines. God damn. Bloodlines are so OP. But all that will have to take place in the next episode. If you like this episode, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to attend the live streams. Um, whatever this episode comes out, it's going to be next live stream. It'll be Thursday. I might... Oh, yes, yeah, the Kingdom Come live stream. That's what it is. Don't miss that. I might even do a second live stream Friday. We will see. But... Uh, that's all for me. I've been the Golden, Golden Joe Oblivion, and this has been... What? Well, look at this prestige. How does he have a thousand prestige already? He's only 14. Jesus Christ. And this has been the Golden Queen Joy of the Long Summer. And until next time, I will see you all later.